good morning folks uh, like i promised today i am going to tell you how to change the spark plugs for the jimny uh, if you see here we have uh, recently got the ngk premium rx spark plugs uh, you would have heard about iridium spark plugs uh, this is uh, next generation iridium so to say is a material developed by ngk called ruthenium now so uh, the tips if you look at the tips of these plugs uh, they come in a package like this and uh, if you can see the tip uh, it has an electrode and a pointed tip and apparently uh, this is supposed to give you better fuel efficiency and quicker and faster acceleration i have used them in the past uh, in my other cars uh, my experience has always been good they don't increase any power or so but just generally make the engine run smoother and cooler right so you can look at the ngk website and look out, look for the ngk premium rx to get a uh, you know further understanding of uh, why these are preferred right so we've got four we got them from amazon japan uh, they got delivered in about 2 days uh, including customs and shipping from amazon i think they have cost me about 7000 indian rupees uh so i will now tell you uh, how to change the plugs uh, what tools you will need and uh, what specifications uh, are needed so let me first show you the tools so th these are uh, the tools i have a socket wrench uh, from sandley uh, this comes with a 16 mm spark plug remover tool already so if you can see it has 16 mm it's a longer one and it has a rubber insert inside i don't know if you can see it or not but there is a rubber insert inside where the spark plug goes and fits so you can pull it out easily so this is what you need uh apart from that you will need obviously the wrench and you will need a 10 mm socket to open the ignition coils so i think uh, these three and then you need a extension bar uh so that you can pull out uh, the spark plug from the engine head and uh, if you have uh, one of these it's it's very nice to have this it's called a torque wrench adapter so basically it plugs in uh, you know between the wrench and the socket and you switch it on and you set it to 17.5 nm which is the specified torque for a jimny and then you will tighten uh the spark plug until this beeps continuously and show 17.5 or 18 here right so this is good to have uh, there are other mechanical torque wrenches also available so you could use them one of them uh, they can also be set to 17.5 i had this so i set it to 17.5 and uh, that's how i'm going to use it so uh, first things first uh, we'll have to use the 10 mm socket and remove the ignition uh, ignition coil from the spark plugs i'll show you how to do that now so let's move over to the engine bay uh, if you see these are the four ignition coils uh, on top of the head uh, they are fitted with these ignition cables the four ones uh, so the first step is to loosen these bolts these are 10 mm bolts and they are tightened to about 13 or 14 nm of torque which i checked earlier so the first step is to actually press this clip here if you see this black clip you see the black clip on all four of them and there's a small gray color portion in front so don't touch the gray one you have to just press this uh, and if you can see this you put two finger a finger and a thumb press this and slide it off so you can see it will just come off it's a little sticky because it's new but yeah this is how uh, the cable comes out it has three points and a rubber seal to prevent water ingress uh, so you can just uh, slightly bend it and keep it on the side and then use the 10 mm socket wrench and slightly loosen the bolt once it has been loosened enough you can pull out the bolt 
and if you see where I will keep this, just follow me. Uh, you have these holes, right? So you can drop it into one of these holes so it doesn't get lost, right? So it's a nice place to keep the bolts. Now, once you have removed this, you just have to pull out the plug cable. This is how the plug cable looks like and keep it safely we will be putting it back together now please follow me and i'll show you the other tools that are required now so now we will plug in the torque adapter and fix these two bolt uh, two sockets the extension bar and the 16 mm socket you can now very slowly and gently straight down you can feel the plug you can actually hear it also yeah. tick so yeah that's what you need to do switch on the torque adapter and then slowly you can see the numbers changing as i apply force so it should be about it yeah so yeah so once it is loosened off you can you can actually pull out the torque adapter keep it and then with your fingers very slowly and gently uh, take out the plug and you straight away lift it out so this is what uh, the plug looks like and it is stuck inside this because of that rubber thing that i told you about there's a rubber grip inside right so jimny also comes with an ngk r uh, normal copper electrode uh, kind of a spark plug so i'll show you the comparison now between this and and the other one so if you can see uh, these are the two uh, plugs and how different they look right so the the one on your right this one is the standard stock spark plug Uh, which has a copper electrode you can already see the electrode in the center getting worn off uh, and the car has just done about 5000 kilometers right so it's not even uh, the gap is usually set to uh, 1 mm from the factory and it is 1.05 mm for the ngk i think it is 1.05 you will have to check uh, on the box again but you see the difference in both the plugs Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep this plug, the old one here, pick up the socket wrench, gently fit it, so you can see how it gets fitted into into that rubber grommet. So you just drop it in and press it. So it will not fall off now when you are putting it in, right? So now very very gently keeping the wrench and the socket straight. slowly go until you feel the plug touch the head below once it touches the head very slightly start turning it clockwise if there is any friction that means you did not get the thread right so don't force it it should go very smoothly you know just like what i am doing you know hardly any effort is being used so you just keep tightening it uh unless until you stop unless you can't uh, sorry un until you can't tighten it further with your fingers so this is what it has so it's finger tight now now comes the part where we use the yeah so i'll just reset it yeah and plug it in you can you can see the number now as i tighten it yeah now you will see the numbers changing so it's about 7 8 9 10 11 12 and it starts beeping as it approaches the limit right so you go 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 And 17.5, and it starts to beep continuously there. So you can do it 17.5 to 18. That's about it. Don't over tighten it more than that. So you remove the wrench now, and you gently lift this out. This should come out, and the plug is already installed. So 
the next step now is to put back the ignition coil so you see the ignition coil in my hand uh, there's a hole for the bolt you drop this in and press it down and make it a firm fit don't hit it just press it with your hand use the bolt that I had uh, uh, put in here take it out again uh, using just your finger uh, slightly tighten it till it catches the thread don't force it you don't want to spoil the threads and just keep tightening with one thumb on the ignition coil till you can't tighten it any further then uh, you bring the talk adapter back and this will go about 13 12 or 13 because that's what I tested when I was loosening them so you can see it's 5 6 7 8 9 it will start beeping at around 12 so you'll know yeah yeah it's 13 13.5 yeah that's all folks this is how it's done now the last step is to connect the cable back uh, please make sure you don't bend these cables they are very delicate so don't twist this too much hold it from here push it back a little uh, slide it on and then you will have a click when it fits yeah that's it so similar to this uh, you can put all the other four uh, you may have to remove this clip here to you know loosen this cable similarly there's a clip here uh, that you can remove I have removed that so you, you can see it you can just plug it back yeah. so that's how it's done so once you remove these two clips the harness becomes loose so you can easily pull them back right so remove all the four uh, remove the old plugs put in the new ones and then tighten the emission coils back to the specified torque and uh, that's it so uh, now uh, let's go in the car and just start it up to check uh, if everything's gone all right uh, remember to check for if you have left any tools in the engine bay uh, there should not be any loose items because once the car starts uh, things can shake and they can fall down so, okay. so we come to the car make sure it is in P and we start the car. Yeah. so as you can see As you can see the engine has started up, it's early morning, it's cold, so the RPM is still around, uh, I would say about 1200, 1300 and as the car warms up, this should come down. Uh, one thing you will immediately notice is that the engine idling is super smooth and uh, the engine paddle response is also, you know, without any jerks and it's quickly settled down back to the idling rpm already so you know that's uh, the advantage what i've usually noticed is that uh, with ngk iridium or ruthenium plugs the idling becomes extremely smooth you can see the rpm needle is not fluctuating even a bit it's absolutely rock steady uh, with the normal copper electrode plugs uh, you will usually see the rpm fluctuate a bit after a few thousand kilometers that doesn't happen with uh, these ruthenium plugs plus the spark being brighter and the plug running cooler uh, means better and improved efficiency and slightly better pickup uh, it doesn't increase raw BHP and I don't think it will affect mileage much but it's just an overall much smoother experience to have them another advantage that I know from experience is that these plugs last uh, much 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 more than the copper electrode ones so it's an investment I think that's worth making I'll probably need to change these plugs maybe at 50,000 or even 75,000 kilometers and that's a lot so as you can see uh, you know the car has settled down exactly at the idling RPM and the needle is rock steady 
yeah so that's what i wanted to share with you today uh, if you want to do it you can watch my video again and otherwise leave me a comment and i'll get back to you thank you very much